showing both their frustration and determination to bring 13-year-old Dylan Redwine back home. Today, members of Dylan's own family, neighbors, and even complete strangers came out to the place Dylan was last seen, all to make a point. I think it's important to keep it out there um, about you know the last physical place that Dylan was supposed to be. That place is this now snow-covered house, the home of Dylan's father, Mark Redwine. Bring Dylan home. While officials have not publicly called the teen's father a suspect in the case, that hasn't stopped members of the Redwine family, Thanks for coming out. including Dylan's own brother, from pointing fingers. Right now, it's just a question mark. Um, he was the last person to see him, and you know he hasn't done his part in helping find Dylan. Not looking for a fight. By phone, Dylan's father says he left town this weekend because he was worried today's protest would unfairly target him instead of the search for his son. There's no reason for anybody to be pointing fingers at me. And, you know, because they want to make me the easiest target to have somebody to blame, then, you know what, I can't stop them from doing that. But it doesn't mean I have to agree with it. This is Dylan at four years old. Outside Mark Redwine's home, the signs say it all. We just want him to come home. We miss him. An entire community is desperate for answers and trying to hold on to hope. Never lose hope. One day at a time. With no closure and no leads and, and nothing. It's, it's scary and it's heartbreaking.